Well, good morning. Hello. Hello, world. Hello, world. I'm going to give it a few seconds for folks to log in. I'm live on YouTube. I'm live on Facebook simulcast. And what I'm what I've been doing is uh, after the one hour simulcast, I go on to Instagram for uh, about uh, a bit of time to finish up the drawings and I'm putting all these into a special book form. So it's really good. Hello, Diane Kelly. Thank you. Hey, Diane, thank you on Facebook for volunteering to be our room mom. I sure appreciate it. Hi, Michelle J Jukla. Hello, Austin on Facebook. Let's see who we have. We have Jacqueline on YouTube. Hello, Jacqueline. Got a really fun lesson planned for you today. I'm so excited. Hello, CB. It's Ethan. Hello, Ethan on Facebook. Let's see who else is on YouTube here. So um, it's a good day today. So when it's a good day, when it's a good day, you have got to just embrace it and call it out and, and just shout outs for the world. Today's a great day. Oh my goodness. We have some uh, really, really hard days and we have some wonderful days. Today's a wonderful day. So thank you guys for jo joining me. And I've been looking forward to this for, for all... Um, all morning getting ready to draw got a fun lesson for you we're going to spread our wings of imagination we're going to soar with creativity take your finger let me hear you guys say aha let me hear someone say aha pretend you don't notice the coffee stain on that someone say aha hey if you have my you can draw in 30 days book give me a give me a woot if you have the you can draw in 30 days book give me a woot i just love this piece um ed heck a famous new york artist one of a just an awesome, awesome fellow. Uh, he created this uh, painting for me. He's famous for his ducks and his characters. This is a, a, a Mark Kistler Ed Heck duck. Isn't that great? I just love it. I just love it. Well, uh, let's go through. Uh, let me just uh, thank. I want to thank everybody who has uh, signed up for my You Can Draw uh, in 3D website, draw3d.com. There's our 75% uh, off code, and there's a 50% off code. Thank you so much for uh, uh, for signing up for the membership. It helps me pay, uh, you know, keep things running here. So during this this crisis, and also thank you guys for your donations of one dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. I even had a, a, a very uh, awesome, generous donor donate two thousand dollars to keep us uh, funded, to keep us running right here. So, um, there's the, uh, uh, and you know what, that just reminds me that, uh, I just, I have to do that. I promised I'm going to ship, I'm going to send, send, uh, that fellow the art piece. That's so cool. They're just so, so generous. So great. Well, thank you everybody for helping me out with the GoFundMe. I, I, I very, very much appreciate it. Um, and we're going to spread our wings and draw, and we're going to fly. We're going to fly. Hello. It looks like we have Estonia, or, or are you from uh, Kurdistan? Uh, let me see. we got some YouTube, some international YouTube. I love getting more international uh, artists up here so I can add you guys to my list of international uh, viewers. Okay, we're going to draw some cool pictures today. Are you ready? Are you guys ready to draw? Well, let's get to, let's get to it. We're gonna draw something like we've never drawn before. We're gonna have our best hour of the day, the hour of pencil power. It's gonna be so cool. All right, so let's start right here. I'm gonna put a dot right in the middle of my paper, and then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of get my get my squares. And I know I'm gonna do a do our, our clock logo in the middle, our hour of pencil power logo there. And uh, let's get my cameras all set there. That camera's set. And then let's zoom this guy in so we can get this guy going. Oh, this is good. All right, so this one, let's start with a foreshortened circle. Okay, two dots straight across each other. Two dots. Foreshortening. Remember what foreshortening is? It's one of those 12 words. And if you learn these 12 words, you can draw anything in 3D. Now, one of the words is foreshortening. Someone type that. 
that's squishing and distorting a circle to make it one part look closer. We want this edge to look closer. And we're gonna put a, a this will be a tree in a bucket. So this will be our first drawing. It's gonna be this one right here. See that? This is where I was promoting the idea of steam, full steam ahead. Uh, right now, a lot of the schools are using the science, technology, engineering, and math. But it's my contention, it's my per proposal and my, uh, well, I'm joining a bunch of art teachers around the world. Putting art in there is the most important one. It's full steam ahead. Full steam ahead. Hey, make it do mom on YouTube. I'm so happy that you're here today. For Thank you, uh, Fatima, for saying for shortening. Thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, and Jacqueline wants my uh, book for her 11th birthday. Well, congratulations. Okay, put a dot right here. We're going to stretch. Look at four shortening. Let's stretch this out and come back in close. Go way out here and come back in close. Four shortening. Squishing that shape. Now, I'm drawing very lightly. This is the hardest thing for me to teach you kids how to draw is to start drawing very lightly and then get darker as you go. So I'm going to slant this down, little tapering going there, and then I'm going to curve, curve this. Now watch this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to curve it. I'm going to curve it. This is called contour. It's curved more than the top line. Again, I'm still, I'm just sketching and drawing light, light, light. I'm going to draw a really cool bucket. Okay, this is kind of a shallow tub. I'm going to, look, I'm going through that line just a bit. Going through that line. I'm so glad Ethan is here drawing with me, and I'm so glad Diane Kelly's up there. Uh, Mario's down doing his computer schoolwork. Now you see how my my tube is my bucket here is a little off center. You notice that? No problem. We just do that. Let me taper that out just a bit more. Fix that. All right, I, th I like that. Now let's erase. If this line goes over it, it's overlapping. See. So we're gonna put a really cool tree and a little monkey tail coming out of the tree. See that? So that's what we're gonna draw right now for our hour of pencil power. So I'm gonna put, I wanna put a big, I'm gonna put a big giant clump, a big, it's gonna be one of these little short trees. See, it's a big clump of leaves right there. And then right here is I'm gonna put an overlapping line. This is where the, the tree trunk will come out, okay? That's the tree trunk overlapping. So let's go ahead and clean that up. We know that's gonna be in front. All right, how are you guys with me? Are you with me? Hello, are you with me? Are you with me? Give me a, a yes, we're with you, Mr. Mark. You keeping up with me? There's Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca Giuliani. Hello, Richard Blanchard. And, uh, you bet, Richard. You know, I have got to get you that book. You are so patient. <clears throat> and I actually found one. Your, Richard, is he ordered this book. He's been so patient, and I need to draw pictures in it, in it for him and send it out, right? You got the You Can Draw in 30 Days book, right, Richard? I figured out how to do it without having to go to the post office. So that's, you have, uh, and Richard, thank you for your daily reminders, you funny guy. You're so enthusiastic. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Doug. Michelle's saying, draw, draw, draw. A little out of focus on Facebook. Well, let's focus it. How's this? Yeah, thank you guys. Let me know. Hey, Diane Kelly, that's awesome. She posted, she put my, uh, she put my uh, uh, little tag for my new book. I like the monkey's idea. All right, let's draw some texture on the leaves. If it gets unfocused, let me know. Draw the leaves. And then I'm gonna have a, a monkey's tail coming up from right here. So I'm gonna put some more leaves right here. I'm gonna have a little monkey's tail coming down here. A little monkey's tail, woo, coming out here. And that looks like, I don't wanna make a rat's tail, I wanna make a monkey's tail. So make it kind of a round tail. And he's kinda, of, that could also looks like a jaguar. Could be a jaguar in the tree too. And over here, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do right here? I'm gonna put something else. What do you think these are right here? Look at, what do you think these are? Who, who do you think is in the tree? This is you, look. You're in the tree. Here's your, your barefoot. You're in the tree, you're hanging out in the tree with the monkey. You and the monkey, you guys are buddies. All right, this will be focused. Everything is all focused, looking good. Now, when I'm drawing the leaves, I, I start going like M, 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 M. 
like just different uh, way mm mm see just do m's and w's and m's and w w w m m m m see this just come all the way around go behind your tapered trunk tapered t t tapered trunk tapering is important from from thin to thick like your neck to your shoulders your shoulder to your wrist tapering tapering that is wonderful Wow, Richard, thank you for 34 years for waiting to get a drawing from me. Well, you certainly deserve it there, Mr. Mister. All right, now let's stretch it way out and come back in close. We're darkening in our first drawing. The, this is you and the monkey in the tree. You and the monkey. I'm going to put a little shadow. I'm going to put a little shadow under here. Are you guys having fun today? Yay, Michelle. How are you guys doing on YouTube? Uh, make it do mom says she loves the monkeys idea and Emma from Scotland is I'm fine online trying to catch up that's wonderful I'm so glad you're here hello from Scotland hello 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 now ah there it is I was wondering where this was I have this I have this list here and I keep track of all the international folks from India and Canada and Puerto Rico and London. Isn't that cool? I have some very exciting news coming up here, you guys. You guys remind me on Monday, I'll tell you about it. It has to do with uh it has to do with, with this right here, with it has to do with these guys. Guess guess who who invited me to participate in a project with them, uh, 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 having to do with the moon lander. Guess who? Anybody want to guess? Anybody want to guess? I'm so excited. I'm going to tell you about it on Monday. But it's so cool. It's so cool. I didn't, never knew that they needed artists on space projects. You know what I mean? Hello, Missouri. How you doing here from Nathan? Awesome drawing in space. Yeah. All right. So now I'm darkening it in here. Getting lighter. I just love your comments, you guys. <laughs> They're precious. Just precious. Make some wiggles. Make some wiggles. And um, oh, I'm going to sneeze. You guys having fun? Woo! <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so now we're adding to a tapering, we're adding shading, we're adding contour line. I hope you have a whole collection. I think this is this is some number fifty something of our days. I don't really know how many days. I should start keeping track. Uh, Mario, I don't know if he's going to be able to come or not. I sure miss him coming on, huh? Thanks for asking. He's down doing schoolwork. He's down there doing schoolwork with his teacher. And uh, we're hoping that, that he's making progress down there. I'm going to, I'm shading here, get it all shaded. And then I'm going to use even some more. Look, I'm using some texture to shade. Okay. And look at this, I'm using more texture, the leaf texture to add the shading. Uh, yeah, Katie Shalupa, I'll tell you all about that. That big news coming up here, it's really cool. It's really cool. I'll, well, I'll tell you a little snippet. I had, uh, I was on, this is just the coolest phone conversation I've had in, I don't know, probably my entire professional career. I was talking with folks at NASA on the phone and then folks from the uh, uh, Artemis uh, project, the space vehicle that's going to get uh, us to Mars. And I was talking to f uh, folks, the, man the project managers for um, uh, uh, Orion, that the, the folks who are going to uh, get the, the uh, moon base established in the next couple of years. And I was talking to project uh, uh, people involved from NASA and from um, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and it was just boy, it was exciting. I had a, just a, I was I didn't even I was just giddy. I was like, yay! 
And now you're going to say, what, is, what does drawing have to do with all that? Well, the bottom line is it's creativity, it's imagination, and it's communicating visually what these scientists want to tell the world. Artists are, are crucial in conveying the information, and artists are crucial in getting, getting that information to the world. They're, they're like scribes for, this, for the engineers and the technicians. So artists are, play a super, super important role at, uh, in space programs in NASA. Okay, now, so here we go. We're blending the shading. I'm going to use my finger here. I'm going to blend it with my finger here. Uh, uh, ha! Well, thank you. You guys have been putting the nicest comments. I just love your comments. Um, thank you, Emma from Scotland. All right. There we go. Now, hey, guys, if you guys want to continue drawing with me this uh, through the summer, um, this, this, my hour, Pencil Power Hour will uh, come to a and boo-hoo in, uh, in June when my summer art camp starts because I'll be, I'll be doing four or five hours a day live uh, for my summer art camps. And I want to invite you guys all to uh, participate with my art camps. And my virtual art camps, I, I think Diane's going to put up a, uh, Diane will put up a, 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 a chart for us. But let me uh, see if I have my art camp card here. There it is. Remember, please consider signing up for my art camp. I'm so excited. I have time zones for everybody all over the world. So just go to my website, find your country, find your time zone, and sign up. It's really, really going to be fun. I hope you do. I hope you continue with us. All right, let's go on to square number two. Let's go on to our next square. And on this one, this one I want to draw um, a fun scene. Hello, uh, uh, Fakir Saeed. Hello, where are you from, Fakir Saeed? Um, good to see you. What country are you from? I'd love to get all my international artists up here. Let me get the Facebook one ready. There we go. Now on this one, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw the top of the leaves here. This will be the tree top, and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna draw three monkeys coming out of the tree here. I'm gonna draw one monkey here, and one, one monkey here, and one monkey over here. Okay, hello, Pakistan, good to see you. Well, let's put that on our list here. Let's put Pakistan on our list. Good to have you, spread the word, share this, uh, Pakistan, great to have you here. I love that. I love getting all my international artists on here. Just love it. Now, I hope you're drawing with us. We're going to draw monkeys in a tree. So I'm going to draw one monkey here. All right, taper it down. And then I'm going to draw another monkey over here, kind of slanting him down. And then I'm going to draw his neck kind of tapering down. And then I'm going to draw another monkey right here. And draw his neck kind of tapering down. We're just scribbling. We're sketching, sketching, sketching. Uh, yeah, this could be your three sons in the tree, Emma. That's right. What's your three sons' names? And we can name them. Now, this monkey. Now, watch how I, I'm gonna, I have a kind of a fun way to stylize these monkeys. I'm going to draw that guy. And then I'm going to draw his head up here. And I guess I can show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw his ears. You see? Draw monkey's ear here. This ear is smaller. It's further away. Draw a little monkey's nose. Now I'm gonna have this guy, this guy right here, he's looking over. He's looking at that monkey this way and you can see his eyes. He's like, whoa, he's all surprised. Okay, he's looking good, you guys with me? Do you love it? And then I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make his mouth wide open. Look, he's like, he's like, wow, it's kind of a Calvin and Hobbes face, huh? There's his, here's his uh, jowl, our cool little monkey. I'm gonna give him some monkey hair and <clears throat> give him his ears. There's his fur ears. And I'm gonna give him a helix and a concha on his ear. There's his helix, there's his concha. Even the monkey has a helix, just like you and a concha. And on this, this uh, monkey back here, this, his fur is a little bit smaller. There's this texture. Now, the, uh, the thickness of the mouth, see, 
he's he's kind of turning to his left, and so you're going to see the thickness the thickness on the right and the bottom. See of his mouth, and then I'm going to draw his tongue inside here, overlapping. Hey SF, hello SF on YouTube. Where are you from? I love to see where my YouTube my YouTube is usually my international artist. Um, hey Mark, enjoyed. Uh, uh, oh, Dan Styles, how are you? Uh, look forward to draw the Artemis series. I was given a sneak peek, Dan. I was like, oh, oh, it's gonna be so cool. We're gonna do a drawing th lesson. I'm, I'm gonna bring it up uh, in more detail on Monday. But Dan, I am so excited to work with your team uh, at the Artemis uh, uh, program and the Orion program and uh, just all you all you cool uh, genius scientific guys we're gonna we artists are gonna help you scientists convey to the world the wonder and the excitement and the thrill and just the the put the human potential for exploring the world exploring space exploring uh, you know establishing our moon base and then on mars what an exciting exciting time uh, to have all these pots of possibilities. And, oh, by the way, uh, can you please get me on the trip to Mars? Come on, use your <laughs> use your clout. Say you need to have a really cool, uh, you know, 60-year-old artist <laughs> as, a, as your comic relief on board. Come on, it'd be awesome. It'd be really fun. You need a cartoonist. Come on. Here. Let's draw the little monkey guy here, the monkey in the tree. You guys having fun? Give me a one through ten. Are you guys keeping up with me? Oh, you're the SLS 3D graphic designers. Well, you know more than more than anybody how important us artists are to help help convey the 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 visual splendor of what you guys are doing, the this awe and the wonder of space travel. So uh I, I look forward to getting to know you guys there at the uh, uh, Artemis and all you folks at the Orion program. What a thrill. What a thrill. That was a fun conversation. How many did we have on the, on the call? We had like 12. We had like 37 people. <laughs> yeah, you'll find I'm, I'm quite enthusiastic with my, my sharing of the tale. All right, there's the monk. He's waving. He's saying hello. How do I order a, a drawing? Wow, here's how you order it. If you want to support us, we appreciate it. We do, we do, we do. The best thing is to sign up for draw3d.com. Here's our 75% off code right here during this crazy time on the planet. We wanted to take our $200 family membership. We cut it down to $49. So there's your, and if you could afford just 50% off, hey, it helps us even more right there. Now, if you want to get uh, all these drawings collected into a book, I have this new book project that I'm so excited about, and it's uh, it's really cool. It takes all of our these hour pencil powers we're doing, and it puts it into a book. And we just started doing this last week. We've already pre-sold uh, oh I have about maybe a half a dozen copies, and it's really cool. It's half off, and I'm trying to find my cover. And the idea was that I would be much more organized with all this. But apparently, it's not happening. Uh, here it is. I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. There's the new book cover right there. So if you want to order that, it has all these drawings in it. And then I draw on the inside cover, a special. You go to my website, which is markkistler.com. Okay, here it is. This is just another way you can help uh, support us, you guys. And we appreciate the support. But look for this logo. It's on the home page, on the front page. You scroll down. Click that. This is half off, this book. It's not $100 for, with an autograph drawing on the inside. It's only 50 bucks, And it's, uh, it's all, it'll be all, uh, probably be about 100 of these uh, You Can Draw Hour of Pencil Powers with me. Now, this guy, watch this. He looks like, looks like he's kind of upset, but he's not. He's just, he's smiling. He's like talking. Put a lip right down here. There's Emma from Scotland. Emma saying, will you be able to, able to do video, a drawing lesson with the astronauts on the moon base and people able to draw with them at home? Sure. Yeah, that's that would be wonderful. Wonderful. I'll, I'll share that with 
with all my, you know, now I'm calling them all my best friends there at the program. Uh, oh, Jacqueline, thank you for, she said, I found you through my awesome teacher. Well, thanks. I'm so glad your teacher suggested you draw with me. I'm going to draw his tongue going the opposite way. See, he's kind of leaning that way. This guy's leaning that way. And here's, the, he's looking this way. So here's his eyes overlapping. All right, this side gets smaller as it moves away. That size, near things are larger, you guys. Near, near things are larger. Far things are smaller. The eyes help determine where they're looking. The reflection. And then let's, I'm going to put his ears. That ear's smaller. See, this ear's bigger. This one's bigger here, and this one's smaller further away. And then I'll put some hair back here. Now, watch what I'm going to do with my stompy here. Watch what I'm going to do about my stompy. I'm going to take the stompy. I'm going to tone in the, the monkey's hair. Maybe a little shadow inside. Are you guys with me? Give me a 1 through 10. Who's having fun with this, guys? Anybody having fun with this? Anybody having fun? I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have this guy. I'm gonna have his long arms, and he's. Uh, you know what? Maybe I don't know. Is he reaching out? Give him a high five. What is this guy gonna be doing here with his arms? Maybe, maybe he's getting, making a point, and having a conversation. Just have some fun. Put him in different positions, and. I'm having so much fun. One through 10, how are you guys enjoying our monkeys in a tree? We have monkeys in a tree and we did our, our uh, tree in a bucket. And then I'm gonna draw three cool kids dangling from the tree. Uh, so Michelle's having fun. Katie Shalupa said, wahoo. Uh, well, thank you, Michelle, I'm glad. Yeah, thanks, Dan. All right, now watch this. We're gonna draw another monkey. Three, your eye likes to see an odd number. I don't know why, but your eye likes to see an odd number. Three monkeys in a tree or, uh, you know, uh, three or five or seven objects. For some reason, your eye, like if you go to a, a grocery store that has uh, windows or doors, usually there's an odd number. If you look at you know, uh, ancient, the pyramids, there's an odd number of steps typically. The Mayan pyramids, there's an odd number of layers. So um, you look at the uh, Roman uh, Colosseum and there's an odd number of arches. You look at the Greek, um, the Greek temples, there's an odd number of statues on the roof and on the, uh, on the uh, col colonnade. So Odd, odd numbers, like for the uh, aqueduct, there was usually an odd number of archways in an aqueduct. Very, not every single time, but most of the time, okay? An odd number, your eye seems to like that asymmet asymmetrical look. Now this guy, I'm gonna make him just, he's all happy. He's just a happy, just a happy monkey here. Uh, the Cy, the CY wants a shout out. Uh, uh, C.I. Dodge. Hi, YouTube. Hi, sh a shout out. I love it. Faces are tricky, says make it do. Mom, the, uh, hey, what's your name? The Cy Dog. What's your name? You tell me your name and I'll give you a shout out. No problem. I'd love to. I'm glad you're here drawing with me. You're on YouTube. I love that we have Pakistan and India and Puerto Rico and Australia. We had hello from Scotland and from... The Philippines, just so cool, you guys. I love seeing you. I love that you're drawing with me. Here, put the shadow under here. That's right, we're surviving the COVID quarantine through creativity, right? Someone say woot, someone type in woot. All right, let's take our stompy and you're welcome. What's your name, the side dog Duga? What's your real name? What's your name? Is it Bob? Is it Shelly? Is it Sebastian? Is it Lisa? What is your name? Are oh, you anonymous, uh, interestingly named YouTube people? Hey, Gabe. There you go. Hello, Gabe. I like to say hi to the real person and not 
laundry basket three kind of stuff. Isn't that funny? Here, here's his ear. I'm enjoying my little monkey, guys. Now, you are the movie directors of your page, you guys. You're the uh, the artist. You're the director. You're the writer. So you're, you're creating these wonderful characters, these backgrounds, and these objects that can interact with the background. So I'm really... Looking forward to seeing what kind of great stories and these these movie scripts, these these children's books, these poems, these adventures that you're going to create. I always start with drawings first, and then I write the stories behind my books. I've written what 18 books now, and uh, and all of my stories all start with with the drawings first. Isn't that funny? I most author illustrators they'll they'll write the story but not me. I do the drawings first, and then I see it in the drawings, the characters, and the environments, and the, the action, and the objects. They inspire me to, to write the story. So try that. And you, you guys made a monkey upside down. That's so cool. That's so cool. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Look at you guys. Look what we're going to do next. Now look at underneath here. Look. See this? Look. Look at this. We're going to draw... This was back, this was my 1115. This is from 2015, a lesson that I did on my uh, live. And we're doing, we're, we're returning to some really fun classic lessons. We're going to draw monkeys and kids underneath here. It's going to be really cool. So let's draw the top, the, the, the uh, draw the leaves all the way down here. And I'll draw the little monkey's fingers. All right, now I'm gonna let's just let's move down lower. Watch this. Let's take this. All right, so we have we did our uh, our trees. So let me see see if you guys can see that we did our monkeys in the tree, and then we did the um, we did the monkeys in the tree. Now we're gonna do monkeys dangling, dangling from here. It's gonna be really fun, really fun. All right, now. Down below, watch this. We're going to take this. Now, I'm going to, it doesn't really fit exactly, but the idea is that we have this clump, right? This this tree clump, and then I'm going to put three kids. Now, what are the names? Who wants to be in the tree clump with playing with the monkeys? Who wants to be in the tree? Monkey business with Mark Robert Newstead's on the air. Give him a hand. Someone, someone type in clap, 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 clap. Robert Newstead is on the air. Robert Newstead, uh, co-creator, collaborator, executive producer of the Imagination Station, where we won the Emmy right there. Right there, we won the Emmy. Oh, yeah. Someone say, Robert. Now, if you want to see this show right here, tune in to that show on Amazon Prime. Back to the drawing. Back to the drawing. But first, I want to thank all you guys who used to watch me on The Secret City think uh, those folks at Artemis are the uh, used to watch this old TV show. Was I ever that young? Was I ever that young on PBS? All right, we need some names. Uh, we have Brandon, Owen, Jason, Nathaniel, Nathan. Uh, Michelle wants to be on. Lucy wants to be here. Look at all these people. Uh, look at that. And Emma, go to my website if you want to get all my books. Just type in store and you'll see them all. We have Gabe. Gabe wants to be on here. You guys are so cool. So I'm going to put three kits. Here's one. Here's two. They're all going to be dangling from the tree. And there's three. Another one right here. So I'm going to have this. The, here's here's one cool kid dangling. And look at Here's their, their arms. See, they're just dangling. Yay! And here's another cool kid here dangling. Uh, Secret City. That's Someone remembers the Secret City. That's cool. I'm glad. Here's another... Another cool kid dangling over here. And then here's another cool kid dangling over here. Three kids dangling from a tree singing la di da di da di da. Three super cool kids hanging from the tree having fun. There's their arms. There's their, now this hand's lower. And this hand's lower and that hand's higher. All right. <clears throat> so now this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna, now, what you can do is, I'm going to draw his eyes here, and there's his nose, and he's just, he's just having so much fun. 
But see, now his arm is covering up part of his face, right? So, yeah. There's his eyes. And then I'm going to draw all his hair dangling down here. And this arm, this arm's coming down here. And he's like, yeah, woo. And so I just darken his arms. So there's our, there's one kid. Who's that going to be? Let me see. Is that going to be Lucy or is that going to be Nathan or is that going to be Gabe or is that going to be Fatima? You guys, who's that going to be? There's one of you guys. Okay. And then he's looking down this way or she. He or she, I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's darken this in. And then there's Nathan and there's Jacqueline. Who's it going to be? There's your hair. Who has long hair dangling like that? Who is dangling from the tree with the monkeys? All right. So, oh, we got darkening in that arm. So there's one cool kid. Look at all these people on. Uh, there's Michelle Connors wants to be in the tree. Look at all these uh, on YouTube and Facebook. Now I'm going to come over to this guy. Let's move this camera down just a bit. <coughs> and uh, here, let's draw his arm or her arm. And then there's their fingers. Yay. And I want to put this this face. And this, look at, I'm going to give this guy, I'm going to give him a big, uh, I'm going to give him a Muppet mouth. Look at this. This will be cool. Yay. You can see his ear over here. Okay, so this will be a boy because I'm, or a uh, monkey. Ha! Ah! Look at that. <laughs> All right, so there, I've got to fix his nose a little bit here. All right. That's a short-haired short, -haired, a short -haired child dangling. There we go. All right, now, draw the leaves. On, oh, someone's going to draw me. Nathan says he's going to put me in the tree. Are you going to draw me upside down in the tree? Is that is that what's going on? That's not a bad idea. That would be kind of fun. So there's, there's a couple. There's... There's two kids. Now let's work on this one over here. Who's this one going to be? I need some more names. Let's see on YouTube. We're at Dodge. Uh, short hair. Getting lots of good comments. Uh, Nathan says his is long. Okay. Rebecca, there's your. You could be up there. Adrian, you could be up here in the tree. I'm going to have, I like this. I like that uh, kind of Muppet face going on here. And then we'll draw his arm coming down. They're just having so much fun. Oh. <clears throat> Are you guys, do you guys like this lesson? The monkeys, the kids and the monkeys in the tree. Isn't this fun? I wonder what kind of story you're going to write. What kind of adventure goes with this? TJ, TJ wants to be in the tree in the tree. Why not? You guys. Oh, wait. You know what? This this one will have curly hair. Let's, let's, let's give this guy curly hair. Anybody have curly hair? Who has really curly hair? Who has curly hair? Anybody? So we have our curly hair guys back here. And you, you see the other arm. There's, there you go. All right, now we get to finish the bottom of the little tree, tree clump here. Do the leaves, the texture, some to the left, some to the right. Use that variety, use that variation. Some to the left, some to the right. Woo, someone type in, woo. Someone type in, yeah, woo. <coughs> Let me see. This is so cool. The texture, how it adds. Here, take your finger and someone type in aha. Someone type in aha. Rah. I love my paper puppets. Did you, have you guys made paper puppets yet that you could, when you do uh, Zoom meetings with your friends and family, you can take your paper puppet and have it walk across the screen? You can make the coolest paper puppets. 
and we're developing super strong pencil power. Someone type in pencil, oops, I have two at the same time. You guys are geniuses. You guys are geniuses. You guys are amazing little Einstein. Someone type in pencil power. I hope you make paper puppets out of your characters that you learn to draw with me. I hope you do, and you use them on during your uh, digital meetings. It'll bring lots of comic relief to everybody. And they'll say, oh, who made that paper puppet? Who did that drawing? You say, oh, I did. I'm a genius. Thank you. I'm a genius. Type in. Someone type in. I'm a genius. Someone type in. I'm an artist. Someone type it in. Let me see it. Let me see it. Look at this. I'm getting some great text comments going here. <clears throat> Someone type in. I'm a genius. Someone type in. I'm an artist. Woo. I'm feeling the energy. I'm feeling the creativity, you guys. This is awesome. Our hour of pencil power. I want this hour to be your best hour of the day. I want you, I hope that you just keep drawing and you join me every day, Monday through Friday. I might even do a Saturday. Uh, if I do Saturday, it'll be a test run for the NASA uh, uh, Orion Artemis. <laughs> I'm still confused about the all the different there's so many different programs that we're promoting and, and, and educating and inspiring for uh, Richard is an artist because of me I love it uh, drawing makes me want to make some iced coffee well I would join you but I'm I'm free of caffeine I'm free free at last but I'm still enjoying my my decaf every day oh I'm so glad you guys are joining my hour of pencil power uh, again, if you want to get the collection of all these pencil powers together, please uh, purchase my book. Go to my website <coughs> at markkissler.com and look for that logo and just make that purchase. It'd be great. Please do. Please consider signing up for my Draw 3D. It helps us keep the lights on. We appreciate it so much. There's a 75% off code right there. It's, there's 500 lessons. Also, please... Uh, consider signing up for our summer art camps at my website we have a time zone for every for all you guys all over the world different weeks for different countries let's go to square number next square let's go to square number next square we have an empty one down here now this one i want to practice drawing some cool roots i want to draw some really neat roots here so let me get that positioned and we'll get this camera ready here and we are just about ready. So, uh, of course, our Hour of Pencil Power logo will be here. There's 12, and there's 3, there's 6, there's 9, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and every day at noon. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a noon one right here. Look at this. One, and then I'm going to have the, the, the shorthand. It's, 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 it's coming up. We're running out of time here, but we're almost at noon here. Oops. So this will be, I'll do our clock, right? And this will be our hour. And this will be our pencil power. Hour of pencil power. And I'll darken that in later. That's going to be our cool logo. Now, let's work on some roots down here. Let's just come down here and... Uh, I'm going to have this kind of this tree coming right out here. Look at this. Isn't that cool? I think I'll just have the tree. The, the, it'll be kind of merging of two squares. All right, so let's have the tree. And I'm going to draw some really neat roots. This is actually one of the, the featured lessons in this book I'm working on called You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. And it's all about uh, learning how to draw specific skill levels and specific time levels. I call this the 99 levels of drawing success, and these are different timed levels to build your drawing skill. Hi, Gabby. Now, see this? This is level, level 12 we're working on right here. This is the advanced, super advanced level, but we're going to simplify it a bit. And this book, this book is called You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. It's really, I hope it's going to be my, my best-selling book of all time because it's going to be so cool. Uh, a lot of you have seen this book, You Can Draw in 30 Minutes. A lot of you have seen... You can draw in, uh, you can draw in 30 days. There's a, <coughs> over a million of these in print. I'm so proud of that book. And then got 100,000 of those in print. You can draw in 30 minutes. 
Here's my drawing in 3D book. These are, you know, these are just small little art cards, right? But these books are big, giant, heavy things. Yeah. Imagination Station book. <clears throat> but this one, of all my books, I'm so excited about this one. Now, if you want to uh, pre-order that one, go to my website, markkissner.com. Diane will probably put, you, put a link up there for you. <clears throat> and uh, so here we go. Let's draw these roots here. So I got this all... I got a really cool drawing here. Let me find it. All right, there it is. So I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw this root coming down. Now we're gonna we're gonna use the drawing direction compass a lot on this one. Remember our, our drawing direction compass. This direction right here. Remember this direction is direction south uh, west, and this direction that's direction southwest. This direction up here. This is direction north west. And then this direction down here is direction southeast. We're going to use these the drawing direction compass. I don't know if you you remember this. Let me see if I can find that chart real quick and put it up here. This is a this is a really good one for you guys to get. It's a free chart. Okay, it's free if you go to the mydraw3d.com and you go to uh, pr free printables. You can download this chart, the drawing compass, and you're going to see how this drawing compass. And this this direction northeast. Okay, I'm just doing a very light for you here. See this? So now, as the roots come down, watch this. The roots come down in southwest. Then I'm going to turn the direction and have it come down in southeast. See this? Isn't this interesting? See? Look at that. All right. So the roots begin. The root begins coming down. Think of a tube. All right. Think of a tube. This is like a tube. A tube here coming down all right so that root it hits the ground and it comes down in the southwest and it turns it coming down southeast now i'm going to do something interesting here i'm going to take this root and it's going to come down and this root watch this it's going to turn in direction it's going to go over this root oh this is cool it's going to go over this root see this see this root comes down and they kind of holding hands see that and there's a wrinkle right here and you could, you could put a knot hole right here if you want. You could put a knot hole, a really cool knot hole right here. Make that kind of an interesting knot hole. Look at that, we have a little, like a really cool, look at already I'm putting in the detail, I can't stop myself. All right, so we have that, that. Now, you know what I think I'll do on this one? I think I'm gonna have this root continue down <coughs> and I'm gonna have it turn the direction again here. So this this route kind of kind of expands in two ways. Do you guys love this? Getting a little more advanced, huh? I love it. I love drawing roots. And this is one of our skill levels that I want you to <coughs> really practice this because it's it's a it's a tricky one. It's it's a it's one that's gonna take you some practice. All right, and it's okay if you flop. You guys give yourself your license to flop. That's so important. Your license to fail. In fact, I'm going to turn this sideways. Let's draw. Let's just let's let's draw a license right here. I'm going to draw you guys. This is your license to flop. All right. Here's your little picture. That's your little ID here, and this is your license. Someone spell license for me. I'm trying. You have to. It's a, a, a license. I think it's L I C E N S E. Is that right? Someone, I so. Oh, I hope it's. Did I spell it right? Did I spell it right? I'm having a very insecure moment. License to flop. L I C E N E. Is it C? Is that a C? Did I misspell it on uh, the world world uh, webcast? Look at. I gave myself a license to flop when I made the license to flop. Uh, L I S. Ha! Robert Newstead. Oh, thank you, uh, Diane. L I C. So I had it right. I had it right. I can't believe it. All right. So here's your face. I am. So, okay. So guess just just from my little panic moment there. Guess who in elementary and junior high and high school was drawing doodles the whole time when they were when in the middle of uh, spelling tests and spelling. We take we're practicing spelling, right in class. Guess who was. Who was always doodling, huh? Guess. Does anybody have an idea? So what I learned from this is, uh, and what I learned out in the real world being 50, what, 56 years old now, 
is how important spelling is. Spelling counts, you guys, even when you're texting. Just get in the habit of, of using correct spelling. One of my pet peeves is getting texts from people when they use a U instead of Y-O-U or they, you know, uh, you know, you guys use those little uh, short abbreviations. Practice. Pro hey, we got an order from Christina Krause. Thank you, Christina. She just ordered, pre-ordered my new book. Oh, I am so pleased. Thank you, Christina Krause. I appreciate that. She just ordered this book right here. <coughs> she got the, um, I'm pretty sure this is the book you got. Am I right, Christina? You just got the Hour of Pencil Power. If you guys want to get this with the, it's, uh, it's really cool. It's a collection of all of these pages. You can see them, all the drawings. Go to my website and that, click that logo right there. It's half off, you guys. Thank you, Christina. License to flop. I'm going to, I'll make this more uh, detailed later. That's our license to flop, though, and I'll put a shadow behind this. This is going to be really cool. I want you guys to give yourself the license to flop because it's, it's really tough to get these roots, but just pr don't give up. I guarantee you, the more you practice, the uh, better your roots are going to be. You just got to practice, okay? Practice, practice, practice. Uh, remember that old joke we were talking about? How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Remember? And what's the answer? Someone type, well, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? What's the answer, you guys? Or how, how do you how do you get to the Metropolitan Museum? How do you get to the Met? What is the answer? Someone, uh, practice, Fatima, you're right. Practice, 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 practice. Look at this, I'm gonna put more roots going off in these directions. And these roots going off in that direction. I'm gonna put another root. I'm gonna put another root going up here. So you can see all these different roots. Should I put should I put a big knot hole right here? Why not? Let's put a big knot hole right there. Look at that. A big knot hole. And then should we put hey, well, let's put a little should we put a um, put a bird looking out? You want to put a bird, little birdie? Here, I'll put a little bird here. Put a little bird beak. Little birds. Sticking out there. Little birdie guy. Little bird. You guys with me? Would you guys having fun? What do you guys think? Someone someone tell me. Do you love it? Is it meh? One through ten. What do you guys think of your little knotted tree rooted? Uh, little, I'm going to fix that root back there. See, we use the eraser, so if you don't like it, I want you to... Feel free to put put more roots, all the roots you want. You just spread out the roots here. All right, I'm gonna move this up just a bit for you guys. Do you love it? Love it, love it, love it. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, uh, I, I really want you to put these directions so you get these directions and you understand them. I'm gonna darken these in. I'm gonna, I'll go to Instagram and I'll finish this drawing up. I'll put some more shading on it, and I'll post this finished drawing, okay? So I'm going to go on Instagram in just a second and go live, and I'll finish that. So well, there, there's your drawing today, you guys. There's our hour of pencil power. I'm going to do, a, I'll post a, a completed one of these images in my um, Facebook post and on Instagram, okay? And I hope that you comment. Here's, how, here's what I want you to do. I want you to make a comment to um, either this, this posting or to my follow-up post of my review of all four drawings. Please, 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 please put a picture of you holding up your drawings, okay? And put a picture of your face. Put your face right next to your drawing. Let's give me your spectacular, wonderful smile and have your uh, friend or your parents take a picture of you. But get your whole family together. Get your whole family together and all of you hold up your drawings and make a big smile and take a picture and post it. And we want to put them on our e-blast. We want to share them with everybody in the world. You know what's cool 
is of all the platforms, of all the platforms from this day being day 40, what, day 53, day 54, we've had over 91,000 uh, kids and parents and teachers draw. Isn't that wonderful? We're almost to 100,000 uh, folks drawing out of all of our platforms and uh, all the different re-webcasts. And I'm just delighted. It makes it worthwhile knowing you're enjoying it, knowing you're drawing with me. So thank you for drawing, guys. Stay creative, stay positive. Continue to be super patient and loving with everybody that you're at home with. I'm proud of you guys. We're doing good. We're, we're, we're making it one day at a time with our Hour of Pencil Power. I love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.